Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Live in High Definition. Thank you so much for joining me. And I have another unboxing for you. Um, I'm sorry I've been a bit AWOL, I've just not been very well and that's what happens in my life. So I'm delayed by, I guess, a week and a half of all my boxes, but I am still soldering on to give you what you need and that is to see this. This is a box that I thought I'd cancelled. I was so sure I'd cancelled it until it arrived on my doorstep and I thought, oh. And I thought, oh, I don't even know if I want to show this box because, you know, I haven't been that impressed with it. But then I had a little look inside and I thought, oh, okay, maybe I should show it. Maybe there's a reason that I didn't cancel it. Intrigued? I thought you might be. Before we do that, I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up ring that notification bell don't forget to subscribe and join my high def family because in december there's going to be so many giveaways and you don't want to miss out and of course when you're done you can share this all right let's get into the video ease parcel is a monthly subscription and i've opted to have the subscription without the sanitary wear which is 10 pounds plus i think 2.99 pmp i've opted not to have period stuff because i just don't need it but I thought I would take the beauty stuff and just treat it as a beauty box. It does make it one of the more expensive beauty boxes because it's £14. And you know my rule is that I like it to be at least double the cost of the box. Last few months it's not been that great. It doesn't do so great as a period box compared to Pink Parcel. There's no point really. So what is in this box? Opened it up. I wish that they'd make the box a bit smaller because then the contents would look bigger. It's all about tricking the eye, isn't it? But there we go. But I thought, okay, let's have a look. So first, this grabbed my eye from, I can't even say Oriza Beauty. This is in the colour Velvet Ribbon, which presumably is this colour. This is what it looks like inside. Quite simple, but stylish packaging. Problem is, it's broken. Like, did you see that? just hold this arm up the whole stick has come off in my hand it's rolled all the way to the bottom so it's not even like it was rolled to the top and came off that way maybe it got broken in the transit or something that is really sad because I quite like this color let's have a, just a little smush of it yeah I could have got away with that I mean it's a bit sort of light pink for me but I could wear it, I do wear one similar to that and with a bit of brown eye, eyeliner, lip liner, I definitely would have worn that. That is a bit sad. I will be asking them for a replacement. Oh, it's nice, but it's everywhere. Dusty Pink Nude is perfect for autumn. It has a weightless velvet satin finish. Long lasting glide on formula is enriched with Arise's core ingredient, a rice germ oil combined with shea butter, papaya extract and vitamin E for a non-drying hydrating lipstick. That was four size. I guess you could kind of still use it, but with a lip brush or something. It's a little bit sad. Put the lid back on that. But that's 16 pounds, that's full size items. We've already got the cost of the box back. So that is a good start for Eve's parcel. And I'm kind of impressed. Okay, next up we have this, which is from Made by Cooper's Apoca 3. Eucalyptus Rosemary Soothing Bar Salt Blend Relieves Aches and Pains, which is right up my street and quite perfect for a period subscription box. It's vegan, handcrafted, organic, mineral rich salts infused with essential oils. A soothing bar salt blend with eucalyptus, rosemary and lavender essential oils to relieve muscular aches and pains. It's got Epsom salt, Himalayan salt, Dead Sea salt, eucalyptus, rosemary and lavender. This looks pretty good. It's a 100 gram sample, which is pretty decent. What does it say about this? Made in Sussex, inspired by yoga and well-being, this salt blend has been created to cleanse, calm, relax, and relieve muscular aches and pains. So that's nice. And you can buy them in this size as like a trial. This looks interesting and looks like something I would enjoy. And it's massive as well. Look, it's a big flapjack. I love flapjack. Delicious oaty flapjack with ginger and chocolate chips. Oh, that sounds lovely. Suitable for vegetarians. I've never heard of black fries before. Anyone ever heard of this brand, Black Fries? It's a UK based bakery creating an amazing range of high quality indulgent treats. This 100% vegan delicious oaty flapjack is filled with warming ginger and sweet chocolate chips. Perfect for this time of year. Goes perfect with a chai tea or pumpkin spice latte. Okay, what is this? Nourish London probiotic mask it's vegan cruelty free organic 
81% organic, a nutrient-rich mask to deliver minerals essential for skin repair, made with minerals produced from a probiotic fermentation process. Is that like, you know, probiotics that you eat? Anyway, with damask rose and lavender. So it's got magnesium, zinc, iron and copper. You know I love a face mask. This is quite small. Feels very um, runny. Five mil. Okay. This mask is a powerful anti-aging and nutrient-rich mask formulated to deliver the essential minerals required for healthy skin repair. This innovative complex of probiotic minerals soothes and calms the skin improves hydration, boosts collagen production, restoring firmness and repairing cells. Definitely gonna give this a go. I like anything that soothes and calms skin because anything that might help with my redness really appeals to me. I would have liked something a bit bigger or maybe a couple of these. I'm greedy, you know that, I'm greedy. This is the affirmation of the month and it says grow through what you go through. So often in our life, things go wrong. It's inevitable that at some point, unfortunate events will get you down. How we cope with these situations is what defines us. Do we mope around and feel sorry for our circumstances or do we look at them as an opportunity to grow, to learn, to improve, to change, to be and do better? True, fair enough. Yoga position of the month is the forward fold. It feels great on the lower back and pressure of the thigh up against the abdomen helps relieve cramping pains. It also feels good on the lower back, hips and waist. If only I could bend like that. <laughs> okay, we also have our something to drink. There's always something to eat and something to drink, just like Pink Parcel. And that is this organic black currant from Heath and Heather, deliciously autumnal fruit infusion, exploring the flavors of sweet organic black currants. I'm sure that will be lovely. And then we have our last beauty item, which is, I can't really see it through here. Let me just take it out. Some of the soap has got on the label, but it's from Soapsmith and it's Marble Arch. I've definitely had something from Soapsmith before, a couple of little soaps, and I know that they're nice and they smell delicious. Marble Arch looks exactly like its name implies, a slab of dark brown, almost black marble, speckled with splashes of colour. Its striking appearance is reflected in its strong, sensual scent. This has got vanilla, orange, saffron and a hint of patchouli. And it comes in like a little sort of wax packet and looks like this. And it does smell amazing. The last soaps I had um, lasted well and they just smelled so good. You know when, like, when you walk into the room and you're like, oh, what's that? That's what happened when I had this soap in my bathroom. So I did really like it. Mmm, it's nice. Soapsmith create high quality soaps inspired by the city around them. This handmade soap is made with shea butter, cocoa butter, olive oil with a coconut base with vanilla, tonka beans, saffron, patchouli, hints of orange for a strong sensual scent. So I have just added everything up quickly and found out the weight of the soap and everything to get the prices. It's not a bad size soap for a sample actually, because I got, I think the ones I had before, like three grams or something. Price. Cost price double is 25 98 And this box is worth 27 pounds and two pence. So finally, Eve's parcel has met my expectations. We are there. And obviously a lot of that is this lipstick, which sadly is broken but hopefully they will replace that very soon. And it has made me think, maybe I will get next month's box. Being Christmas as well, I am expecting from all of my beauty boxes that they're gonna push the boat out and do something extra and make us all really happy. It's Christmas, they should be extra generous. So I think I am gonna hold on to it for next month. I am surprised. I, I am, is that how I speak now? I am surprised. I was not expecting them to give such good items and I am really pleased with all of them. Overall, I think it's quite a nice range and I like that they're niche products and I like that they're UK products as well. And to be honest, it's better than my Glossy Box. Glossy Box might have been worth more, but this has more items. What do you guys think? Do you think that this is an improvement? Do you think it's worth getting? I don't know, but I'm hopeful for Christmas at least. Thanks so much for watching and until you see me next time, which will be very soon, I <laughs> hope you live everyone well and take care of yourselves. Bye guys. <laughs>